Hello, um, my name is Phil Pepper. I'm course leader for a number of photography courses ranging from level three through to level five, which is our higher education courses. Um, I wanted to talk about the level three photography course uh, at City College. Um, we'd like to work on building skills in the first term. It's a, uh, it's a UAL college course, UAL University of Arts London. Um, it's a nice level three qualification. Uh, throughout the first term, we, we work uh, fundamentally with uh, camera systems, studio lighting, um, a range of quite high key kit because we, we believe our students are capable of learning and stretching their, their skills. Um, the second term is more about concept and ideas and assignments. Um, through all that there's a range of digital software that you would be working on, um, editing, post-processing, Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe software. Um, by about Christmas you'd be skilled enough to work in the studio and um, possibly use studio lighting on work experience. Last year a whole bunch of the first years went to Upper Shirley High School and taught year nines and year tens which sounds scary but actually they, they taught them how to use the lighting and photograph um, portraits for their projects and it was really good to see how, how much people had learnt by about January. Um, the first year opportunities for progression would lead to extended photography which is the UAL applied extended photography course so that's the second year and after that um, our higher education courses are brilliant and we have a very good progression to university from the higher education courses from um, on what we call top-up years. So basically the, our, our higher education courses are the same as doing first and second year of a degree. And a lot of our students work with us right the way through because they settle in here, they like the support they get, the staff are amazing. Um, we have a range of, of skill-based in the staff. I'm a bit more techie in the studio and I have a bit, well, quite a lot of work experience in the industry. Um, uh, we have uh, art, art photographers and art teachers who do contextual studies as well, so it's a good range, it's a good broad range of creative and technical ability. Um, the facilities in this particular studio where I'm sat now are really quite good. We, because we have higher education courses, we, we set that as a benchmark to get higher, uh, better equipment, which obviously that feeds to our level three groups as well. So it looks quite techy, but we blow a lot of myths out about it and just teach everybody about light, light as photography. Uh, there is trips, we do trips to London, uh, to galleries. Um, I get to drive the van so we can go out and do field trips with camera gear and models sometimes. Uh, we have trips over to Oxford, to museums, taking photographs, field trips. Um, obviously there's work experience as well which we try and make as user friendly as possible rather than just going out to random places like I say our guys did the photography with the schools. So finally what we look for in our students, um, what I look for in particular is just enthusiasm for the subject. It's a great subject whatever you go on to do um, in, in, within the creative industries. It's a, it, it's a great subject to learn, it covers such a broad area. Um, so I'm looking for people who've gone out and taken photographs, enjoyed their photography, also um, grades from school, you know, working on photography at school. But ultimately it's enthusiasm for the actual subject. If you enjoy any subject that you do on any course, you will do well because we do expect the commitment and it's a great thing to start realising what you've actually learned halfway through when my guys start to go into the studio and just work on their own they get a real satisfaction out of being able to set up everything themselves um, so for more information about the course uh, go onto the college website and you'll see more detail and an entry requirements and so on